So in the 9.2 update, we got a few new API calls, uh, scrub and RAM mode that you can call on audio and MIDI clips. Uh, RAM mode just for audio clips, but I've been messing around with it and I came up with this device called Scrubber that when you press the user button, will display four clips that correspond to these first four tracks. You can choose the track here. Um, you can set the length uh, that each one of these will operate on between one, two, three, four bars or dynamic. When it's set to dynamic, it will follow the loop braces in the clip. So uh, this will be a one bar loop, this will be a two bar loop, and each of these divides the length evenly among the 16 pads. So if I go and trigger one of these clips in session mode, the drums, and go to user mode, you'll see the playhead going and we can trigger this clip anywhere within this one bar. And this will grab onto any clips that are playing. So let's get this going. Uh, you also have access to all these controls, uh, you know, so you can mess around with the pitch on this drum. You can play with the warp mode. Let's put that back to zero. <clears throat> and if you hit the shift button once, now all the playheads are tied together. That's useful for if you're improvising with one of the pads, say the drums, and you want to come back in right on the one. There you go. And this will follow any clips that are playing in the session, so let's play these four next. And now these four are available to be improvised with. So that's pretty cool. Um, it allows you to do a lot of interesting things with clips. And I hope to polish this up and uh, make it available. I'm probably going to add some pattern recording so you can record all your slices and whatnot. But uh, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.